Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's beauty throwback. So I'm going to be reviewing the Morphe um, James Charles palette. Just want to say this has nothing to do with the actual creator, the person. You know, I try to be really super positive on this channel. So I'm still in kind of a little thing from Poplex, aka Nady. Um, this has nothing to do with the person behind it. This is just reviewing it to see if this is worth buying because right now it is on sale. Um, you can get this on sale on Morphe's website and on Ulta's. So they are clearing these out. And I wanted to kind of create a look with this. It's going to be a first impressions. Um, I got mine for 10 bucks, And I want to kind of see if this is going to be worth picking up for gifts. Um, you know, maybe you have someone in your life or yourself that have been looking at this palette. And you want to see if it's any good. So anyway, if this sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that jazz. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Okay, I'll have to excuse my hair. I need to wash it tonight so it's up in a super high bun. But like I said, I got this on Morphe's website for $10, and it is the full-size James Charles palette. Right now, this is on sale for like $12 or $13 on Ulta's website, and they also have the mini one. That's on sale for like eight or nine. Whew. Almost dropped it. I do have to say, I do think it has really pretty packaging. Um, it's like matte black, but then the Morphe and James Charles is written in kind of a glossier finish. This is what it looks like. Uh, you get a ton of shades. I could count them, but I'm not going to. But I'm super excited to try this. I'm wearing this super cute sweater today it's like a color block so i'm gonna do kind of something that goes with this i think so i think it's gonna be like gray purple you know pink stuff like that and uh this is a pigment palette i do remember that and from what i can remember from watching reviews years ago is that you want to start with your basically your transition shade is going to be your last color just because they don't blend very well together I don't know. We're just going to try it. My eyes are primed and um, I'm excited to uh, give this a go because I have been looking at this palette for years and it looked really pretty. And so when it went on sale, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And um, I feel like a lot of people probably still, they own this palette. Maybe there's some people that don't like I didn't, but I do have to say I do like the larger pans right here. A lot of these could be transition shades. There is this kind of shimmery one right here that I'm, I'm sure you could use as like a highlighter. It is really pretty, but anyway, let's just do this. Okay, so I think I'm going to be starting with my crease shade, which I do do this from time to time, but I'm going to use this kind of cranberry plum shade right here. It looks pretty. It doesn't have a mirror or anything, which is pretty normal for these kind of Morphe palettes. A little bit of kick up in the pan, but that looks very pigmented. So hopefully there's not a ton of fallout because I have my face makeup on, but let's do this. And just so you know, pigment palettes, like eye pigments, or I'm sorry, pigments, they're supposedly not eye safe because they can stain. Um, I have, it's been a really long time since I've had one stain, but I have noticed as long as I use like an oil cleanser, it will remove everything, but that's pretty. Uh, first color down, I think it's a really pretty palette. It's pigmented. Pretty easy to blend, not as easy as a regular shadow, but I'm not an expert. Sometimes my eye looks don't come out great, but that was pretty simple. Okay, I think I am going to take, sorry, I'm kind of looking on the back of my shirt here. I think I'm gonna take this dark purple right here. I'm gonna be putting this directly into my crease um, just to deepen it just a little bit. I guess we'll see now if it's going to work that way or if it's gonna start looking kind of muddy, but we shall see.
think it's laying down okay. Definitely, it's laying down. Um, it's a tiny bit patchy, but I kind of already knew going in that these don't layer great on top of each other. So, but I think, I think it's doing okay. Just have to be a little bit more, you just have to work with it a little bit more, but the colors are stunning. So I'm okay with that. Okay, I like that. I think that worked out just fine. Um, I have a little tissue here. I'm cleaning off some makeup brushes. Um, I think that worked great. Um, and I, yeah, I'm not disappointed at all and totally worth having to build it up a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with this pink shade right here. I'm gonna use that to blend out that first kind of cranberry shade just so that way we can maybe start getting a little bit more of a blended look. So, we just do it right on the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the black shade right here. Uh, I'm gonna be using that same kind of tapered crease brush I'm just going to be packing it onto the side of the brush because so I'm going to be using this in my outer corner. So picking up nicely, I just tapped off the excess and I'm just going to very gently start tapping this on the outer corner. Okay, before I go too much further, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shimmer I'm gonna be putting on my lid. I'll be using this really pretty shimmery purple. And okay, not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. But we'll go ahead and apply it anyway. So with that same brush, I'm just gently going to start tapping over that edge just to do a slight blend. Just tapping, I'm not swiping, it's just gently going to help to blow out that black shade and just help it to kind of mingle with that purple shimmer. Okay. I think what I'm going to try to do as well, is I don't do this often, but I kind of feel like we need to. I'm going to go ahead and pick up just a flat brush and I'm going to that purple shimmer almost like hard panned already, which is weird. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of spray. I hardly do this. Most of the time shimmers are good to go, but all shimmers can be different. So, okay. Let's go ahead. I'm just gently gonna apply this. Okay, that looks nice. I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and use this kind of peachy shade right here. I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. bit right there it's not overly bright or anything I just wanted a little bit let me go ahead and finish off the other side I'm gonna put on some mascara we'll come back we'll do a few swatches and I'll give you my final thoughts on the Morphe X James Charles palette and uh, let you know if I think it's worth the money if it would make a nice gift so see you in a sec so here is the finished eye look using the Morphe X James Charles palette I think it turned out really really pretty like kind of a blackened plum um, I I think it's gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to put on my lip gloss. I was gonna do that before I came back on camera. Oh well, I'll do that now. Anyway, um, yeah, I like it a lot. 
fire just a second. Okay. Better. Okay, so I do have some pros and cons. So I'll start with the pros. Um, this was originally like a $40 or $45 palette. You can get it for way, way reduced. I think it is a lovely palette from the shades that I used. Um, the mattes are great. Um, you do have to build them and be a little bit more gentle and like, and everything just because where this is a pigment palette. That purple shimmer I used, not the best, but let's go ahead and do a few swatches of the shimmers at least. Ooh, okay. I mean, you know, that just might have been a formula issue, but those look beautiful. Very nice, actually. Pigmented, smooth. Um, you get a ton of mattes, you get a ton of shimmers, and um, I like that it does have a lot of neutrals, and then, like, down here at the bottom is a lot of color. I mean, we do have some pops of red and orange, but that can definitely be... You know, people use that all the time in a warm eye look. I do like that there is some cooler tones like with the greens and purples and blues and everything like that. So I think it's really, really nice. I also kind of like how you can kind of break them up into quads. You know what I mean? Like, so I think that this would be an easy palette color story wise for a lot of people to use. Um, the formula itself, where it's a pigment palette, I think if you are buying for someone that is brand new to makeup, they might get a little frustrated at the performance, but it's just the difference between an eyeshadow and a pigment. Um, if you're buying for someone that is experienced, even if it's like for a year or two or whatever, I think that they could very easily create eye looks with this palette. I mean, it's pigmented. It is very, very pigmented. I was able to get a really pretty look very, very quickly without using a ton of different shades. So I do think that this is a beauty throwback that if you don't have this yet, I would definitely recommend it. If you're looking for a, a Christmas gift, holiday gift, whatever, um, and you're buying for someone that is an eyeshadow lover, I think that you get a great steal with this and you get a ton of shades. Really, really nice. I can see that this palette uh, would last a very long time where you have the very large pans and then, you know, you don't need very much to get an impactful eye look, you know? So I do think that this is a good buy and um, I'm glad I have it and I'm looking forward to creating a whole bunch of other eye looks with this and uh, I think it matches quite lovely with my sweater today. So I do recommend it. Um, you know, if, if you don't want to support this individual, totally up to you, but if you don't care, if you are just looking for a cool new palette to get for yourself for holiday looks, or if you're looking to gift to others, then yeah, I think that the Morphe X James Charles palette is definitely worth picking up on sale um, on Ulta's website or Morphe's website. But anyway, uh, there we go. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you own the James Charles Palette by Morphe. Uh, what are some of the, your favorite eye looks that you've created? Share with me um, on Instagram. You can just at Budget Glam Babe and I would see it. Um, but yeah, I would love to know what you think of the James Charles Palette if you already own it. And uh, speaking of adding me on Instagram, you're welcome to follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a second.